That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh. So, where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. Have fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm. That elf light is some good shit. So. I'll heat up the forge.
better than I deserve. Darn straight, and never mind. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important... That is a fool. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. How fun was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple? Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave mid -com. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hives. When we freed it, the light elves came back. It seems better now. Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye. Not exactly an easy fix for that. And I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter.
living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <clears throat> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. <gasps> Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. There's a gap in the fence over there.
became of Gavazir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one man of the audience. Well, Thor. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Where are the ones who freed the light? Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. While knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. Built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we?
What's a dark elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light system. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. The light. Ah! I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. And after the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. Thus, the light elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... Thanks just to let these two do their thing. Whoa! Is that a bomb? on my bridge. And now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Ah. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. <laughs> The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. I see. By all means, then. <laughs> 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 
Smell awful. Anything interesting this way? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. <laughs> Gotta be a better angle on that Twilight more Stone. More Light Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh... Maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. They keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alpine. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Let's continue our ascent, yes? Right side! Above you! Watch out! Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. On the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. That's the wrong. Oh, I see. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light out. So much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. <laughs> Bartle Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's gonna light now, too. See, timing must be precise. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. if we could use Twilight Stone against them. Ah! 
We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Make fall of light! Coming your way! Left side! Incoming! Statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. And here we go. <laughs>
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I wondered what became of him. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. I still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> 